Transformers are all around your neighborhood. But do you really know what they are? So why do you need transformers in the first place? The reason why is because the original voltage that comes out of the electrical grid is huge. It's anywhere from 8,000 to 24,000 volts depending on your electrical service provider. So why do you need these transformers? So that you can make your home safer. That's why these transformers are here to either step up or step down voltage. So when the voltage comes into these transformers, they're lowered to a value that's safe for your homes. So you just saw transformers. That's what they look like. Transformers can either step up or step down voltage so electricity can arrive to your house safely. So on the left hand side we have maybe N equals 100 turns or 1000 turns of wire. And on our right hand side, which we call the secondary side, this is the secondary side of our transformer, you can have maybe uh, 2000 turns of coils of wire. So these coils of wire can either step up or step down the voltage. Since we have more coils on the right hand side, that means that this transformer is going to step up the voltage. By how much? Well, we're going to go ahead and find out. For the primary side is going to be 100 volts and the current for the primary side is going to be 10 amps. And my goal is to find the voltage on the secondary side and the current on the secondary side. Okay, so how are we going to start this? So to find the voltage on the secondary side, we can use a simple ratio. What's our ratio? So my, I'm trying to solve for my secondary voltage, which is going to be equal to my secondary turns of wire times my primary voltage over my primary turns of wire, turns of coils of wire. So now I can just substitute in. My secondary voltage is gonna be N sub S, which is what? That's 2000 over here, 2000 turns of coils wire times my primary voltage is 100 volts, 200 volts. And that makes sense, right? If I double the number of coils, then I'm gonna double the number of volts I have. So this is a step up transformer. Okay, so we just figured out what my secondary voltage is going to be. It's going to be 200 volts. Now let's find the secondary current. How do I find secondary current? Well, I can use something I already know to my advantage. I can use the power formula. What's the power formula? Well, if I go ahead and zoom out here, I can say that power is equal to power. Well, isn't that genius? The power before is going to equal the power after. The primary power is going to equal the secondary power. But that's only if your transformer is 100% efficient. Transformers are never going to be 100% efficient because you're always going to have some energy loss. You're going to have maybe transformers that are 95% efficient. Okay, that's what we're going to say this transformer is, 95% efficient. That means the power secondary is going to be only 95% of what the primary power was. So what's the primary power? Well, we know what the equation for power is, right? You know that power is just voltage times current. So this is gonna be the primary voltage times the primary current, and that's gonna equal the, the secondary voltage times the secondary current. So if I go ahead and plug in to my transformer times the primary voltage times the primary current, over the secondary voltage. So if I go ahead and plug in everything I know, what am I gonna have? Well, the primary voltage is gonna be 100 volts and my primary current is gonna be 10 amps. Divide all of that by my secondary voltage, which is 200 volts, twice that. So if I go ahead and simplify everything, what am I gonna get? My final answer is gonna be about 4.7 amps okay so make sure you get that answer go ahead and plug this in which is less than much less than my primary current so my secondary current is five about five amps all right folks that's how a transformer works this is a step up transformer stepped up the voltage thanks for watching this episode sponsored by brilliant.org we'll check you out next time don't forget to like share and subscribe ambition plus mko plus scaffolding you will learn it. Me. We believe any
anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. The first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love with math and science. science.